identify the major products of the reaction sequence shown below. Okay, let's go ahead and do this problem. So we have a benzene ring and in the reagent we see CH3COCl with AlCl3 and this is called Friedel-Crafts acylation. Just a reminder, if we have a benzene ring and we do Friedel-Crafts acylation, let's say our reagent is like this, AlCl3, where this R could be any hydrocarbon chain, what happens is we attach the carbon to the benzene ring that has the double bond O, and we can attach it anywhere. I'm going to attach it here, and then chlorine all is leaves, and I also have R attached. So my product will be C double bond O with whatever R group was attached to it in the first place. Now let's go ahead and do it here. So after the first step, I will have here I have C double bond O. Again, you can choose any carbon to attach it to. I'm choosing this one, C double bond O. And chlorine was the leaving group, CH3 stays. So my R group here is CH3. And that would be my product after the first step, after the Friedel-Crafts acylation step. Next, I do Cl2, FeCl3. Cl2, FeCl3 is a reaction that adds chlorine to the benzene ring. Now, usually it's pretty simple, but in this case, we have to take into account that we already have a group on the benzene ring, which is the acyl group, and we have to know where would our chlorine go. So for that, we can use a chart, which is orthoparadirecting, um, uh, orthoparadirecting, metadirecting chart that I'm going to show here. And basically what this chart shows us is it gives us the groups that are orthoparadirecting and then it also gives us the groups that are metadirecting. And of course there is a good reasoning behind it which I will cover in one of my next videos. But for now we can just use this chart to predict where the second group will go. Now we have C double bond OCH3 on our benzene ring. So let's find it in this chart. So if I look everywhere, I will see that it must be this substituent because it has C double bond OR, which is C double bond OCH3. R again is any hydrocarbon chain, so any kind of number of carbons. That's our group. Next, let's look whether it's order pair or meta director. In this case, we see it is a meta directing group. It will direct the next substituent to be meta to itself. So now that we have figured this out, let's go ahead and see what our product will be. Let's redraw this benzene ring and the group that I have, the acyl group. And what is the, where is the chlorine going to go? Where, what is the meta position? Meta position is a position one carbon away from my group. So in this case, matter position is on this carbon or on this carbon. It doesn't really matter one carbon away. I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to attach chlorine here. And we're done with our product. So the last thing we have to do is to figure out what is the name of our product. Um, some of the choices say ortho and para. That's not true. We decided that this one was matter. And then what is this called? Well, this double bond O, it's between two carbons and it's a ketone. If you have double bond O in between two carbons, that's going to be a ketone. And if you have a double bond O next to a hydrogen and a carbon, that's an aldehyde. In our case, it's in between two carbons, so it's certainly a ketone. Therefore, it cannot be benzaldehyde because that's an aldehyde. We can get rid of that. And so the correct answer should be metachloroacetophenone. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in more of my general chemistry and organic chemistry videos.